Hello everybody, welcome to this week's Move Week Devotion. I hope I find you well and fit and healthy. This evening I've been challenged by Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. I look to the hills, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who makes the heavens and the earth. And I think many times we, we think about that, you know. When you get a really big fright, your first response is, Oh Lord, what, what now? What's happened? We, we instinctively call out to the Father. Even some of us who don't believe in Him will, will call on Him. There'll be a confusion or an uncertainty. And, and I think that so many times we think that or feel that we need something spectacular to happen to then know that we've heard God or seen God. I read recently an account of Francis of Assisi who was meeting, was meeting with a whole lot of monks in a, in a, in a monastery deep in the, in, in the isolated in, in Italy. And uh, during this visit, he, he asked, you know, what, what can you tell me of God's goodness, of, of, of how the Lord's been with you and around you? And one gives an account of how he was riding on a donkey and the donkey bolted and he fell off and he was on a narrow bridge and could have very easily fallen into this deep ravine. But God saved him and, and he didn't fall too far. Another who'd fallen into the river and said, well, God was so good to me. He put a tree across the river that I could grab onto as I was swept in the water and able to climb out and get out. And when they turned around and asked Francis, what, what miraculous things can you tell us of all your journeys with the Lord? And he said, well, they've been incredible. I've been blessed. They've been quiet and uneventful and without any major rigmarole. The strange thing has been that nothing happened, therefore there was no miracle. But I think we've missed the point because the fact that nothing happened is miraculous in itself. I always think about the fact that the first time that God spoke out loud, stars came out of his mouth. He really doesn't have to explain or justify himself. And there will be times when there'll be a significant event that will prove unequivocally his presence. But there might be many more times when there is simply an uneventful resolution to something that would otherwise have seemed utterly impossible. I think the key to the reality that we need to face and learn and it might come applicable to our lives is to thank God every day because we don't know how many things he's protecting us from that we never even knew existed. My prayer is that the Lord protects you so well and so completely that you are completely unaware of the amount of danger you were in. And the Lord bless you and keep you. And most of all, may you see the fine miracles that seem invisible and yet are magnificent. God bless you. Good night.